Welcome back, Wowsery. Thought I'd try a. I was originally going to do King George versus the Espana, and then I started thinking about the British battleships, and then I was like, you know, was the dreadnought really much more powerful than pre dreadnoughts? And you know, decided to go with the most powerful pre dreadnoughts that I can think of the Lord Nelsons up against the uh, German battleship Nassau. So that's what happened with the thinking here. So we have the Nassau. So I think it looks pretty good in this uh, game. Not a design I use in campaign, but uh, it's kind of fun. And here's uh, Lord Nelson, which I didn't rename. I believe the sister ship is Agamemnon. I think I have that right. And both uh, German, first German dreadnought, and we'll see who actually uh, wins here. Oh man, so far out. didn't check the range. Gotta make a turn. The only thing with the Lord Nelson, I wasn't able to get the 9.2 inch guns. Every time I tried to go up to 9.1, uh, one of the side turrets went, nope. Too large. Wouldn't have done better making the other... Oh, of course, they can already shoot at me. Hey, how about that? do have powerful guns enough. if they do hit it will hurt they've hit me once they do have more guns it really comes down to Is a uniform main gun armament really better or worse? Well, there's a couple of good hits. Because I don't think the actual rangefinders are that different. Armor, you're not seeing too much of a difference. But everyone always sits here and goes, oh, pre dreadnoughts were obsolete. the dreadnought. I do think one thing that it was is you now you get the 12 inch guns and the 9 inch guns and at a distance is there really that much difference of a splash to I think one thing was no, it could confuse the gunners because no, the 12 inch gun and the 9 inch gun are going to have different elevations. And if you're seeing a, a 9 inch splash and thinking it's a 12 inch splash, you know, you're going to have a bit of a difference in changes in your elevation and such. No, I'm still unidentified. It does seem like in the game the pre-dreadnoughts just are terrible shots. Small superstructures on the mass out here. Pretty good. 
Now the uh, balance on this wasn't too bad. Doesn't appear to be moving too fast. Really looks like the engines have been hit. Hmm. Or it's trying to turn out a line to let this guy go first. It's got a list. I don't think it's going to shoot anymore. Once it hits a certain list, the guns don't fire anymore. I have noticed that. And the flooding... That's the Lord Nelson. Five, four... Is that four point? Oh, no, no, it's down to three. Start going up or down. Now there's two percent. Main. Looks like, looks like the guns are all kind of destroyed on that side. Two, one, two, one, point four, point nine, point three, seven, one. Uh, there we go. Oh, King George. <laughs> King George the fifth. I heard what I was saying earlier and decided, ah, we'll put it in anyways. And the Nassau has gotten some damage. You know that they, they didn't. It's not escaping without damage there. do some damage. So it is one of those things that it wasn't completely obsolete. It's just you had greater firepower concentrated in one area. Which made it easier to control. Sinking. Stop behind the uh, sinking ship there. Is it taking cover? Taking cover? You have a warship taking cover from behind the sinking warship? Looks like it's kind of working. He's getting some hits in. I think I'm still hitting this guy. You know, they do have the bigger guns, you know, 12 inch guns. Let's see, rate of fire is 1.4 versus 2. And 2. I wish the uh, sides, if, they're, if everything was the same caliber, they would all fire together. The smokestack has been damaged. It's got a lean to it. I was sitting there looking at that, it's like, no, I don't recall that lean when I did it. It's like, oh, it's damaged. Looks a bit different. Let's see if I can take a 
sweeping turn here. I've got just a little bit better flotation and superstructure. Of course, he's going to be losing. I'm actually just, I'm not sure why he's not moving. missing the aft turret. So if I go continue this way as long as he doesn't move, I get rid of one of his guns. So is there a reason you're not moving? Technically I should be able to really pound you. No, with that no movement. Well, the one other thing with the King George, I wasn't able to get as many three-inch guns as this. No, apparently it has 24 or so 12 on each side. There just are not enough slots to do that many. So I think I've got uh, 12, you know, maybe 14. Oh, looks like it's starting to move. Yep. Sides kind of just hitting me with those 12 inch guns here lately. There's another flooding. Who's going to do the most damage fastest? Let's get close in a little bit. I've done 15,000. Of course, he's done, done a pretty good fair share of damage. Some more hits. And everyone's so flooded and all the other type of stuff that nobody's firing. Okay, if I can turn and get my forward gun going. This is where that angle when your, your flooding has uh, stopped your shooting. Let's see what's it going now? 7.2 versus. Oh, there we go. I guess I got just rid of enough of the angle there to start firing again. And that could be all she wrote, maybe. Yeah, it used to be, you know, it didn't matter how great the angle was. The ships always fired, which was kind of weird. Oh, that was a 
a little bit closer than I... Well, I'm not, not really sure what I expected. Did take on two... Four might have been too much. No, it is only first generation Dreadnought. Not, not that far away from the pre-Dreadnought, so... It did pretty good damage. They also took quite a bit of damage. Yeah, let me know what you thought. Like, didn't like. Leave a comment, subscribe, get notified. That kind of helped grow the channel, and I'll see you next video.